Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're back on Lee Recommends and today I recommend Guns N' Roses November Rain. What an epic, epic piece of music this is. As with most of the songs I'm recommending, um, I don't, I've never actually sat there and broke these lyrics down because I've only started doing that since doing this channel. Um, so all the songs that I recommend and stuff, I've just sung along to them or listened to them and not really took, part, took um, anything from them lyrically. Um, so I'll try my best with this one again and uh, let's see where we go from here but this is Guns N' Roses November Rain if you enjoy it, enjoy it if you've not heard it, it's a treat for you isn't it let's go Just before it kicks in, um, I, I love the uh, an orchestra in with rock music. Um, there's not a lot that do that that I've heard. And it's also a reason that when I listened to the Bring Me Horizon concert at the Albert Hall, it blew me away because stuff like this, when they mix it with rock and orchestra, is, is a really, really good mix. Um, let's carry on anyway. I feel like the lyrics are somewhat a little bit contradictory to the actual video because obviously he's getting married and it's a happy time and he's having a laugh with his mates there and everything but he's also saying that uh, they've both got a love restrained and you know he, he feels the same and nothing lasts forever um so maybe you know maybe it's like one of them ones we just get married just for the sake of it because you've been with someone for a long time uh, i'm not sure yet um lyrically but it could you know he could be getting that because obviously later on in the song well i won't say that i've ever seen the video if you've not seen the video i won't spoil it for you i'll, I'll speak about it again later on what a fucking iconic rock song this is and uh, axel rose's voice is so so it's distinguishable from everyone's isn't it you just know when it's axel rose
think there he's talking about um, do you need some time when you're on this, that, and the other? That you can't really spend 24 hours a day with someone because you know you, you, you just get fed up. You do need that time on your own. That's what I think he's getting at there. Um, and like I say, I, it, I do feel like they're getting married just because they've been together for, for a long time. It, what the, the video and the lyrics are portraying to me, um, that might not be the right interpretation of this song, but I will look it up at the end. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's carry on. Uh, do you know Slash you just know his guitar solos he is an absolute rock god um, and every time I see someone in a video doing the stance I always call it the Slash dance like like, like what he's doing there um, like uh, Sam did in the Liliac uh, Sail Away video I think it was and he was stood on the rocks stood in that position it's like proper proper it's like it's like everyone's um, everyone wants to be slash if you like the way they stand and stuff it's just it's just one of them things he's just such an icon uh, and what a great solo like they all are Yeah, so obviously um, he's saying like we can find our way through the dark and stuff. I think that may be striving to get through a difficult situation within a relationship or a marriage, if you like. And I think he's saying nothing lasts forever. Like the darkness will not, not last forever like cold November rain, which doesn't last forever. You know what I mean? Unless you live in England, it pisses down all year round here. <laughs> but um, let's go.
you would kill that guy for jumping through your wedding cake when you're on your wedding day, even if it is raining. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, I never knew it was based on a short story, like I said there. What a absolutely amazing piece of music. Iconic piece of music from an iconic band. Now, um, when I said earlier, I didn't want to spoil it for you. I mean, I think with the lyrics, I think he may have been predicting earlier uh, about maybe that she were, nothing's going to last forever, as he said. And maybe he was predicting that um, she was going to die. Like, well, she died in the video, which I didn't want to say earlier, in case uh, I spoiled it for anybody that who's not actually seen uh, this video before or, or this song. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favourite um, songs from the 80s stroke 90s. I, can't, I don't know exactly when it was made. Uh, I think it was, around that, it was around that time, late 80s, early 90s. I can't remember when. Um, and that's the first time I've brought the lyrics down, tried to anyway. And uh, Slash's guitar playing, he's just absolutely amazing. He's one of my favourite guitarists. Now, the thing with Guns N' Roses with me is, I know a lot of the mainstream stuff, but I've never... Um, I've never had an album of theirs, so I don't know what the the like the B sides and stuff are like. So if you want to let me know in the comments um, if there's any Guns N' Roses tracks I should listen to that's not like mainstream or whatever, uh, then let me know uh, any decent songs. But there's going to be great guitar playing, as we know, because Slash is an absolute legend. Um, I'm going to look at the na the meaning of the song now just to make sure. But it, that said, it was based on a short story. But what was the short story? Right, so it says here the lyrics in the video are based on a short story by Del James called Without You. The story is a part of a collection of the language of fear, which was brought back to the market in 2008 after being out of print. Um, the song that was written by Axl Rose, November Rain, the original version of this song was 25 minutes long, and it was edited down to like nine minutes, and it's the longest ever top 10 hit and contains the longest guitar solo in a top 10 single. Slash, Slash actually plays two guitar solos in the song, well, as, as we heard, and Rose put the song's lengthy gestation period down to um, the opposition from Slash and someone called Duff McGann. Uh, so, yeah, so it's it's just basically, it's, it's just a fancy, fancy video, fancy song based on a story, um, which, you know, doesn't really matter, does it? Because the song is absolutely epic. I love the fact that um, it starts off like light-hearted and nice uh, when they get married, and then the drama when she's died, and the the, the switch in the music, and the, the the difference in the orchestra and everything, I just adds to the, like the tension at the end, and it's just some. That's why I never paused it for the last part to talk about it and say about that because 
you just have to listen and listen in there because that's one of them things. It's like the Pink Floyd with the um, David Gilmore solo at the end of Comfortably Numb. You just you just have to watch it in, and not pause it, and you have to appreciate exactly um, what's going on musically. What a great great song, and that's one of my recommendations this week. Uh, so any yeah, anybody, let me know if um, there's any other Guns N' Roses songs that's not like mainstream that are good. Uh, even th- there could be some mainstream ones I haven't heard because I didn't sit there and listen to Guns N' Roses all the time just pick out certain songs that I've heard that I like anyway if you like my videos please like and subscribe if you want to support me on Patreon then the link is down below if you want to join the Madhouse on Discord and have a chat with everyone then the link is in- down below too uh, I'll see you on the next one